Hi everyone. Uh, this video I want to show you my code to uh, do speech recognition. Okay, for digits uh, using dynamic time warping. So we know that dynamic time warping is a very good uh, algorithm used in many applications. One of the best applications to use this algorithm in is speech recognition because dynamic time warping uh, help you to uh, Estimate how much is a signal, a sound signal, close to a uh, reference signal that you already train your program to, where and it it uh, uh, neglecting its calculations, um, the the shift, the time shift, or the uh, uh, the the speed with which you say the digit, right? With which you say the the the, the word. So, if you say the word fast or you say the word slow, dynamic time warping will will uh, detect that they are the same word, uh, essentially, and they, it will also detect it is the same word or not, even if you say it uh, shifted, right? Not in the same exact time uh, in the time frame. That what makes the dynamic time warping a very good uh, uh, approach. And of course, if you get to this video, I guess you already know the main concept of dynamic time warping, and uh, of course, you can find tons of, of reference for that. So let's get to the code. Now, here you can see that there are several codes that run in this system. Actually, I made it this way to to be able to uh, uh, change the system, retrain it, and reuse it, uh, but uh, easily without uh, the need to redo uh, every every step again okay you can do a step and then save it and um, and then use the system uh, directly okay so at first uh, let's uh, see the different uh, scripts this one here is called the change parameter this one you use and you run to change the parameter so you can see that the parameters for the whole speech recognition system is saved in this parameters.mat file and at the beginning of each uh, code you can see it loads this this parameter okay you can see it always starts by loading this parameter so if you want to do uh, a change in the parameters do it using this uh, code and this uh, way you make sure that the parameters uh, is different for whole, the whole system okay you, you made a new parameter okay so let me explain the parameters uh, quickly here you have the sampling frequency of course you know what is that it is it is a sampling uh, frequency the one you use to transfer the analog uh, uh, signal of your voice to a digital one by sampling uh, t is the recording time this is the time uh, given for you to record uh, uh, the digit in the uh, case of training when you train the program it will ask you to uh, say the digit several times so you will be given a window uh, the bro this parameter sets the time for this window so here it is set to two seconds which is quite enough to say uh, the digit okay the number of samples for each digit this also happens to, to uh, affect the creating the data set or creating the reference so how much should you say uh, the digit okay uh, when you create your uh, reference so here I set n equal to 10 which means that you're gonna say every digit 10 times so you will have a total of 100 uh, sample of your voice to train the system which will you we will see that this makes the system very good at the end it, it uh, basically recognize your uh, speech and uh, recognize the same uh, digits with very very good accuracy Okay, now the cutoff frequency to remove the noise. This is the uh, uh, the frequency to for the uh, low pass filter. Okay, this means that whatever is uh, higher than this frequency uh, is going to be uh, lifted and be removed as a noise. And uh, in this point, I want to make sure you understand that for the uh, human voice, whatever is very low in frequency, like like a DC component, like the one which you hear as a hum in the in the in the um, any sound you hear, uh, which is uh, 
something of a very very low frequency or uh, a DC component, this is not a human voice of course. And also the human voice has a range of a maximum of 3000 uh, hertz. Uh, actually it is even less. So whatever is higher than 3000 hertz, this cannot be a human speech. This must be uh, noise. And uh, this way uh, you apply a low pass filter and a high pass filter to remove this DC components and this high frequency component to remove any noise and make sure uh, only your sound exists, which, which makes the system very good actually in recognizing speech, even in the noisy uh, environment. Okay, now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use dynamic time warping. So we have to say how much of the database we're gonna use as a reference. You know now, since you set n to equal to 10, you have a 10 sample for each digit, uh, uh, which is a total of 100 uh, sample in your data set. And in, the, uh, in a second, I will show you how to create it, okay? It will be this one. Uh, now, you can set the system, like I do now, to 1. This will mean it will take uh, the whole data set and it will compare your voice to the whole data set. This makes the system a little bit slow, uh, especially if you have in uh, more than 10, like 20, some 25, so you have a very large data set. When you set the train ratio to 1, it, it, it makes the system very good and very accurate, but very slow. So you can set it to 8.8, uh, 0.9, something like that. Here I have only 10 samples in my data set, so one is, is basically good. So I mean you understand what I mean by this. Okay, now you have uh, <coughs> a window size, which you have to use in your uh, feature extraction. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, you, you use this window also in the dynamic type working, so uh, this is a window size that you have. Okay. And uh, you don't have to set any parameters. Uh, automatically, then the low pass filter is done and also saved in this. Okay, so this is the parameters. So when you, see, when you run this, okay, that's it. You have updated it. Okay. Now, you need first to have a training set. So you, you need to create this training set. So this, this one here called create training set. This one here gives you instructions in the command window and makes you create your own training set. Of course, uh, with, with, the, with the reference. So I should say every uh, digit 10 times. Now I am going to run this and uh, I'm not going to complete it. I'm just show you how to, to, to use it and I'm going to show you the output. Zero. 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 One. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop the, 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 the case now because it will take uh, some time. But anyway, you got you got the idea. Now you can see that there is a folder called the train created, right? You, sh you didn't see this folder before. Here it is. It's created and it has the samples of your of your voice. Now I didn't complete it to the end. That's why it's not complete. But I have already uh, created a one before in this uh, zip file. So here you go. And here you have it complete. Okay, so this is the data set for your voice. Let's see here uh, an example. Zero. Okay, so you can see that it is filtered and saved in this. Okay, now you created the data set, you set the parameter, so let's create the reference. Now I save the reference in this features format. Okay, so you can use the system directly without the need to every time extract the features of the of the data set. So once you create reference, that's it. You have updated the features with Matt. This is the one uh, uh, you took. So even if you created the data set but you did not create a reference, you did not update these features, uh, features with Matt, 
the, the program will not uh, be affected by the new data set. Okay, now we get to the uh, important uh, code, this one, test, test system. This is the one which gives you uh, uh, the chance to say a series of digits and it recognizes it and give you the analysis. I'm going to show you how this is done now. So for, I have to say uh, how many digits I'm going to say. So let's say three, three digits, okay? And I am going to say them in series and system will recognize them. So let's try this. Seven. Eight. Okay, so that's great. It recognizes three digits correctly. Seven one nine. And what you see here is that you see the signal speech, and you can see that it recognized uh, each digit and broken it into three parts. You can see the energy plot for each part of the of the of the signal, and you can see the zero crossing gate for for each part. Also. So this is the analysis, and you can see that it recognizes three digits. Uh, correctly. Let's let's uh, try it one more time. Let's uh, say four digits now. Two. Six. Seven. One. Two six seven one, so uh, it works fine. You can see that system is very accurate and very good. Uh, and you can even make it a little bit faster if you uh, reduce the ratio of the reference course. But I guess it is a uh, good time actually. So I hope you like this video, and you can find all the codes and all the files uh, in the description. Uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you for watching.